Hey y'all, welcome to my summer morning routine. I of course start off every morning with my alarm going off to wake me up. I try to get up at 6.30, this doesn't always happen, but you know, we're shooting for our high schools here. Usually it does take me a little bit to wake up, so I will turn off my alarm, kind of toss and turn, and then eventually, I know this is bad, but I work up the motivation to then get back on my phone and look up stuff, respond to messages, look at emails, see what I have going on a little bit throughout the day. And this light from the phone, which I know is horrible, is what wakes me up and gives me the motivation to then not close my eyes again. And then I will head to the bathroom to start the rest of my morning routine. <laughs> This may be TMI, but my first thing I always do is I go to the bathroom when I wake up. Also, my main motivation to get out of the bed in the morning is just the urge to go has to get us going. So this is just me showing you, of course, you always wash your hands. So I didn't want to leave that out of the video and let people think I don't wash my hands after I use the restroom. So I had to include that. Then I move on and brush my teeth. I found this really cool toothbrush from my local Kroger. I'm sure they have it at Target too, but it's just an electric toothbrush that only costs 10 bucks, which I'm a fan of. I feel as though it does a really good job cleaning my teeth and it's not expensive. The heads to change it aren't expensive either and it's just battery powered, so you don't have to worry about charging it. It's awesome, I love this thing. And it's a cute pink color, so it's a win-win. Once I've got nice clean teeth, I will head back into the bedroom and I will make my bed. I do not know about y'all, but I have to make my bed at least before I go to sleep because if I don't, the way that the sheets tangle up drive me crazy when I sleep. So I will try and do this in the morning. But like I said, if I don't get done in the morning, it does eventually get done some point throughout the day. So that is that. Now it is time to get dressed so I don't get back in bed. I don't know about you, but if I'm in my pajamas, I still want to crawl back into my bed, even if I just made it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but this is just me. Quick zap and put on my next outfit that I'm going to be wearing for the day. This is just my workout outfit, so I am ready to go for later. Now it's off to the kitchen to make some breakfast. My morning drink of choice is an iced chai latte. I really like this box one from Tazos. I think that's how you say it. It's really easy. You literally just pour half of the concentrated tea mix into a cup with ice, and then the other half you fill with milk and you are ready to go. It's awesome and super easy. Now for the food portion of this video for breakfast, I am making some Cheerios because it is so simple and I feel like it's a good way to start my morning. So I'm full for my workout I have later because this is pretty filling. Now it is time to go educate myself on the news. So I like to eat my breakfast on the couch. I know if my boyfriend is watching this, he's really upset. Sorry, I love you. But this is the real life. This is me. I like to eat my breakfast and watch TV. I will typically watch the news and try and get caught up on all the new important things slash scary things happening in the world today just because I feel it's really important to be educated and know what's going on. Once the news starts to get to all its fluffy stories and stuff that don't really interest me anymore, I will start to look at my plans for the day and then add on to them anything else I really want to get done. This is really important. I love to-do lists. I feel I function best with to-do lists. I can cross something off. There's nothing more satisfying than taking a pen to paper and crossing off something that you have accomplished and seeing it actually being done. I just love it so much. So. After I have finished making my list, I will head into the kitchen and usually start on the first thing of my to-do list, which is clean the kitchen slash put away all the dishes because I am not a night person and I cannot do this in the evening. I save it all for the morning and I don't hate it. I don't mind, you know, I can handle it. it doesn't stress me out. It's just satisfying whenever it is done. You know what I mean? <laughs> To wash my dishes, I feel this is pretty unique. I haven't seen it anywhere else, but it's just what I prefer to do is I will plug the bottom of the sink 
with one of those stoppers and then I will leave the faucet running with really warm water at a low velocity or it's not coming out very fast. I don't think I'm saying that properly, but I'm trying. So I will take that and kind of use that to rinse my dishes and wash them. And then while the sink is slowly filling, I can soak things at the bottom that need to be soaked. I feel this method saves me so much time because I'm not waiting for the sink to just fill up. And it also saves a lot of water because I'm not filling up both sink tubs, just filling up one about halfway. It's awesome. Next in my routine, I will get ready to go work out. So this involves me grabbing two pairs of socks. Then I will head in and grab my Apple Watch to track my workout. I will grab my running shoes. And then I will also go and unattach my key to get into the apartment as well as grab my AirPods so I can listen to those while I am working out. If you're interested in what I am currently doing for my workout, I will be sure to have my blog post where I list the current exercises I am doing down below so you can go check those out if you would like to. And yeah, I didn't want to go into extreme detail on this video because this is about my routine. I didn't really want to include my workout, but if that is something you are interested in, please let me know in the comments down below. Let's move on to the next thing in my routine, which is getting a snack after my workout. Because I don't know about you, I'm always starving as soon as I set foot back into my apartment. This particular day, I decided to just grab some nice ice water to cool off. And then I also grabbed some Sargento string cheese, which is mm, my fave string cheese ever. So good. After I have finished my snack and cooled off a little bit, I will then head into the bathroom to take a shower and clean off after my intense workout of getting gross and sweaty. It's important to have nice, clean skin. And honestly, this is the best feeling ever when you're all gross and sweaty and then you take a shower. You just feel so great afterwards. If you just rinse off your body, it's amazing. Life changing, let me tell you. I feel like I'm trying to sell you on taking showers, but y'all obviously do this. I'm sorry. Let's just move on to the next thing, which is getting dressed. For narration purposes of this video, I am now heading into the bedroom slash closet to change into my clothes. And now here I am magically back really fast for the video's sake to do my makeup. For makeup today, I'm just doing my regular lazy day makeup, which let's be real, this is pretty much just my everyday makeup. Every day is a lazy day for me. Unfortunately, I just effort is just kind of hard. So if you want to see a more formal rundown of this routine, I will have my lazy day makeup listed down below in the description box. Be sure to go check that out if you want to, but this is just a quick time lapse of that routine so you can kind of see it's just what it is. Because I live somewhere really hot and humid, I'm not really going to do anything to my hair. There's honestly no point to it. So let's get into the outfit. My shirt is Target. My shorts and belt are Princess Polly and my shoes are from Forever 21. I love this outfit. These shorts are my favorite. I get compliments on them all the time. So that is it for my morning routine. I am off to go do some errands and start working on my to-do list. Please be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and leave any video suggestions or comments down below. I will catch y'all next time. Bye.